in the greatest interest of the public. I'd like to know what plans you have to make flying Uganda Airlines affordable to the <laughs> Thank you. Ah, that's a very good one. First, I want to put a disclaimer. Uganda Airlines is not a charity organization. <laughs> uh, Madam Jennifer, CEO of uh, Uganda National Airlines, I'd like to welcome you. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. Um, Jennifer, uh, we, I would like to congratulate you on reviving the national career. What progress have you been able to achieve? What milestones have you covered? ever since the revival of the airline? Um, the achievements are many. So I will bring out a few that the public sees and a few that are intrinsic, that have a consequence of what the public sees. As a, as a company, we are owned by the government through the Ministry of Works and Transport and the Ministry of Finance and Development and Planning. And um, we, from the time we started, we have we fly to 11 routes however we also have two types of aircraft we have the airbus and we have the sierra j the sierra j are four the airbus are two we use the sierra j for our regional routes and the airbus were for the long haul at the moment we fly to one long haul route what have we achieved as a organization i i want to believe employment is one of the very many things that Uganda Airlines has done. We employ over 400 staff. Um, about 320 are in Uganda. The 80 are across the networks where we fly. Um, our highest number of uh, employees are in the flight crew. We have Ugandans flying but we also have um, Europeans flying for us because of the route networks where we are going. We need a certain type of skill and experience. So we do have a lot of expatriates um, among the flight deck crew. Um, achievements apart from employment, we are an enabler as an organization. We are an enabler for Uganda, for the economy, on tourism, because of the people we bring in, on uh, connectivity, because we move people in between the countries where we fly. And for Uganda as a country, we've been able to create awareness of Uganda as a growing, fast-growing economy. Um, aviation was that final thing that had to be put together on all the sectors. Um, after having been gone for 20 years. So 20 years later, aviation is an enabler. The economy is growing. Um, we're doing cargo now. So Ugandans are able to carry their products from Uganda between the countries where we fly. We've seen our cargo growing steadily. So yeah, the achievements in that direction then for the customer, we are digitalized. Um, you know, air airlines survive a lot on technology. So we have a, we are now on a global system, and on this global system, you can find Uganda Airlines book anywhere in the world. We are viewed and seen on the system. You can book us online. So we, you can't, we can't be looked at as, oh, just another one. But we are competing globally, competing internationally, competing regionally with the big guys that have been around. We're working on partnerships. That's an achievement with other airlines. We, at the moment, we've been discussing with two airlines out of the UAE. We are discussing with uh, three airlines out of um, East Africa. And this is really to give connectivity to our customers. And I want to believe that we've also stimulated uh, movement and travel. Uh, because when you don't have a national carrier, people rely on the other companies that fly in here. But now that we have our own airline, everyone is stimulated to fly. Because what we have done is we have brought value for money. We have ins stimulated 
a, t a people to fly. So we have first time travelers, people who have never flown. We have uh, people who have moved from another airline to fly with us. But the fact that they are those that are first time travelers means that we have stimulated and incentivized a people to actually move. And you know when people move, they get exposed. So when they come back home, they do something different in the country. Um, so yeah, I believe as an airline, that's one of the things that we've done. It's really exciting to hear. Uh, there's one thing um, I would like to possibly, on behalf of the public, ask you. What is your target audience uh, uh, for your services? We segmented customers. They are segmented along routes, depending on what they are going to do. So we have the business traveler. When you look at a route like Nairobi, it will have purely business. And business travelers who, over the weekend, turn to be visiting friends and family because they are working in between the two countries. So over the weekend, they come back home or they go across. We have holiday, leisure, is, well, vacation, when you look at Mombasa and Zanzibar. Zanzibar, purely leisure. Um, Mombasa is a mixture. There's a mixture of leisure. There's a mixture of the business community. Then there's a mixture of traders because they're using the port for clearance of goods and all. Then we have uh, Kinshasa, which is business because they are coming to do trading and business between the two countries. Then we also, of course, have government. We have uh, government moving, of course, the diplomacy that happens. Um, then we also have students that go to some of these places. Um, then on some of the routes we have um, traders, purely traders, um, moving to go and buy stuff, merchandise, and come back here and sell. So we've segmented it according to the routes because we have partners that we work with in the business. Travel agents are our biggest partners all over the world. We have the online partners and we have the face-to-face -face travel agent. You will buy your ticket either online or through our partners or you will come directly to any of our offices across the network. So all these segments will move depending on where they are finding it easy to purchase their tickets. Yeah. Thank you. Finally, um, that is very, very good. That's very, uh, again, it's very insightful, Madam Jennifer. And uh, maybe for in the greatest interest of the public, I'd like to know what plans you have to make flying Uganda Airlines affordable. To the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ah, that's a very good one. First, I want to put a disclaimer. Uganda Airlines is not a charity organization. <laughs> we have shareholders and we have what we call shareholder value. So they can't keep giving us money. And <laughs> we are doing, you know, Bulunji once. <laughs> Ah, charity. <laughs> um, however, I, was, I want to say this, that um, we have made flying affordable. Because if we have first-time travelers, that means that because we came onto the scene, we were able to balance the fares on some of these routes. So that means that there are people who had never really thought of traveling by air because it was expensive. But now that Uganda Airlines is flying, then they find it affordable to fly. So that's one way to look at it. So in terms of how, what have we done is we've managed to balance the equilibrium of the fare structures in the market. Um, if you remember, a flight to Nairobi was more expensive than a flight to London or a flight to Dubai. But now, with Uganda Airlines, there's a mixture, you know? There's a, there's a balance that we've brought to, to, the, to, the, to the root. So yes, y Uganda Airlines coming on the scene has been able to bring the fares down, to bring them to a normalcy, and not, to become, not for them to remain at that high, expensive um, point they used to be. So I can humbly say that that's what we've done. <laughs> Okay, I really thank you so much, uh, Madam Jennifer, thank for sparing time to share uh, on your milestones and uh, also experiences, and also to give us your expectations, as well as uh, enable us to manage ours. 
and uh, I hope that um, I'd like to encourage uh, as many of our people to fly our national airline so that we can build our own. I really thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you very much.